2020 has for sure been one of the trickiest year when it comes to travel. Many people have had to cancel their trips because of the pandemic, you know, and so have I. But so, so right now, I'm so happy to be back on the street, traveling and exploring the world and the country. Right now, I am walking in the streets of the coast, Mombasa County. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the updates that you need to know as you travel around the world and specifically to where I have been as I was coming here in the coast. Guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you from SJR. We are heading to Mombasa and I thought I should give you an update on how we travel recently using the SJR. So first things first, coming here you can opt to use the train, the old train which charges 50 Kenya shillings which is 0 0.5 dollars and uh, so you make sure you are at the at the old train by 6.30. That is just an easy life hack for anyone who's backpacking around Africa. So after that, I'm going to head on to SGR. The charges are still $10. And after that, we are going to give you more updates as we continue. You know that this Chinese constructed train is among the longest and the fastest trains in Africa. Now you know, it moves at a speed of 160 kilometers per hour. It's also important for me to state at this point when you're using SGR because now it's carrying less capacity up to half of what it should be carrying. Make sure you do your booking pretty early because people are booking immediately. They open up the bookings and you can do your bookings online. You can pay via M-Pesa. You can go at their stations and book and do your booking and the booking starts five days before the day you want to book for your trip so now you are ahead heads up and you know please book early this bus is really filling up these coaches are really filling up fast and very soon once it's 8 a.m the train is always leaving this is one among the few things in kenya that really keeps time so because it's going to be a five whole hour time in this train it's time for us to figure out something story tell play games and just connect as you can see we are with my sister and we are here creating games that you're going to be playing in this whole five journey it's, it's like four to 45 minutes four hours 45 minutes but let's just call it five hours also guys make sure you carry some snacks as i have mentioned they are not selling anything in the train because of the covid situation so make sure you have something to eat like buy before you come to the sgr because the prices hike but if you don't mind that of course you go ahead and buy yeah also once you're inside the train they are not as strict about sanitizing and wearing your masks as they are before people board the train so here we were able to like be free and share the seat like combining the seat but still people are keeping the social distance because you know what your health comes first before the social connection at this point but we also try made friends with those who are sitting beside us and we enjoyed our game all the way as also we continued playing we also enjoyed watching the views as you know as you cross from nairobi to mombasa you will come through two national parks that is the savo national park and uh, the savo east national park and the savo west national park which actually gives beautiful views if you're lucky you're able to see animals like we saw zebras antelopes and i think elephant yeah so it's it's an interesting trip apart from storytelling people playing like small games as we were playing watching the beautiful views as you continue with the ride and feel the temperature change but one good thing sgr has a, a temperature regulation where it keeps the train calm that you will not necessarily notice the big difference in temperature but it keeps having a notification of when the temperature changes other things you can do you can sleep i can assure you the sgr is one of the comfortable trains i have boarded so you can comfortably relax and sleep within the four hours so right now is at 12 55 pm and we just landed in mombasa i am so excited guys because mombasa is mombasa raha and we are about to have a blast and have a moment of our lifetime temperatures here are very different like right now the degrees are 31 degrees compared to nairobi which is 18 degrees and it can even go as low as 16 or 15 degrees so here mombasa you're gonna have some fun so 
let me go show you how we are going to be going on the other ride of uh, using bus or uber to head to mombasa town because when you come with the when you come with the uber no when you come with the sgr it does not alight you at mombasa it alights you at miriti so you take an uber or a matata so let's go Outside SGR Mombasa Terminus, and I thought it's important for me to update you on some of the changes that have happened. One, there is a lot of social distancing inside the train. So, for example, the three seater you sit two people, and the two seater it accommodates only one person. That's actually a major change to enhance on social distancing. Also, another difference there's only one train that transports people, the morning train bring people to Mombasa directly, no stopping. And in the evening from one, it goes back to Nairobi. Now, something else that has also changed is the fact that they are no longer selling any food in the SGR train. Inside the train, there's no longer any more food being sold around. And uh, yeah, apart from that, the SGR has really been maintained, which is something I am so impressed. Like they keep cleaning the SGR in the course of the train, like two times or three times, which is something good at least they're able to maintain the SGR. Something else that has really improved is the fact that apart from the security check that is like serious and major, that is also washing your hands after arriving. After washing your hands, you're also going to disinfect like three or four times after before you get to your SGR. So you be ready for that. Come come loaded with some lotion. You may need to apply your hands with some oil, you know. Yeah, apart from that, the ride was okay. Left Mombasa at 8 a.m. Arrived, left Nairobi at 8 a.m. Arrived in Mombasa at 12.55. And now we are ready to head. Depending on what form of travel you're doing, if you're traveling with a company, they should be having a way they have organized for a car to pick you up at the Mombasa Terminus. But if you're not traveling using a company, a tour and travel company, you can always pick a taxi, a cab, order an Uber, or even take a bus from the Terminus and it can take you all the way to Mombasa or even to the ferry suppose you are going to Diani. The coast of Kenya is definitely a destination that everyone should purpose to visit once in their lifetime. You get to experience the beauty of the Indian Ocean and for sure SGR which is a Chinese company has done its best to make this travel quite affordable and easier and to take less time. So definitely now you know a plug on you coming to the coast of Kenya. I hope you enjoyed this video and as you can see, people are traveling and enjoying life here in the coast. So get out of your comfort zone, get out of the fear of COVID and explore the world as much as you can. Of course, making sure you keep your safety. I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys more of my travels here in the coast. And thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your love. Comment, subscribe to the channel if you have not and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. See you in the next one.